And another thing, so screwed, if I'm pronouncing any of the names wrong, which I probably am, a lot of them, a lot of the times, I'm really sorry. Like, when I've actually have heard their names being spoken, it's been, you know, by the other members that speak this quickly, and I cannot for the life of me. I, I think I'm saying Yoyun, right? And I think it might be more like Chayun, Ch Chayun, Chayun, Chongjun, Chongjun, Chong, Chong. See, it gets worse. It gets worse the more I try to do it. So if I'm pronouncing anything wrong, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, don't kill me, please. <laughs> Since this kind of involves me, uh, could I have a say in this? I asked the guys that now are totally excited about the whole thing and are already starting planning everything. They look at me, they look at each other, goes back to looking at me. <laughs> no, they all say and begin laughing. So cute. Chapter 18! Oh no! It actually ended up being a fact that I would from this day date the shiny members. The guys were so excited, they didn't waste any time. The next day I would have my first date with Onu. As you might have guessed, I didn't sleep at, well at all that night. I kept turning around and tried thinking of smart things to say tomorrow. Nice weather? So screwed. The morning finally came and I woke up from someone jumping around on the other side of the bed. Yes, jumping on the bed. I turn around to find... Oh, and where was I sleeping, you ask? Well, where do you think? <laughs> Last night, I actually checked out from my hotel and moved all my stuff into Shiny's guest room. And that feels... Awesome! Seriously, why in the world would they invite a stranger to sleep in their guest room? I could, like, kill them or something. Steal all their phones and stuff? I don't know. Back to the story. And who was it jumping on my bed then? I turn around to find that the person jumping right next to me is Taemin. When he sees me turning around, he sits down on his knees and looks me straight in the eyes and then he begins to smile and ask if I slept well. I say I did, even though I probably just fell asleep like an hour before he woke me up. But after seeing that smile, I don't feel tired at all. He then tells me to get ready because they made breakfast and only wants to leave early. I get dressed and walk downstairs. They're all sitting waiting for me by the kitchen island so I walk up to them and I sit down on an empty chair between Yoyan and Ki. They all worked really hard with the breakfast and I feel so bad because I didn't eat that much because I was so nervous. You should have seen it. It was so sweet. When we're all done, Oni walks up to me. Come on, let's go. The best way of describing it, he takes a hold of the place just between my hand and my wrist because that's important, you know? It's not here, it's not in my hand, it's not on my wrist, it's this place, you know? Why is that an important thing to describe? I don't know. Uh, and before we walk out the door, I turn around and wave to the others. Where are we going? I asked. It's a surprise, silly. Oh yeah, uh, is it far? I won't tell you, but I know even if you say if it's far or not. Silly? Oh yeah, you know nothing about this place really. Uh, thanks? Uh, so can I know? We're taking that bus. Uh, okay, well, I wanted to know more than that. This time, the bus ride isn't as awkward as last time with Key, But I guess with Onyu being with, there with you, you can't really quietly stare out the window, can you? The bus comes to a halt, and this time I right away understand where we're going. Right outside the window, I see the entrance of an amusement park. This is where we're going? So happy! Yeah, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, totally! He reaches out his hand. Shall we go? I take his hand and we get off the bus. I had money saved up for the trip, so I was actually planning to pay for myself. 
but of course he wouldn't let me. He just picks my money back up and shares his look with the girl in the pay booth, which is, this girl? Of course she's not supposed to pay. I am. We spend most of the day, most part of the day, just walking around in the park, talking to each other and just looking at everything. I'm a bit scared of roller coasters, but we did visit the haunted house every single time we walked by it. It was so much fun because we still got scared even if we knew exactly what was going to happen. We were like, now we'll be coming over there! And like, woo, 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 woo. And like, oh god, I don't even want to read that part. Um, when we were on our way back home, yes, I will call it home now. I felt so close to Anya, just like we've known each other forever. We were sitting on the bus talking about everything we've done, seen, and eating during the day, and it just felt so natural. Can this really be life? My life? The real life? Uh, chapter 11. That was gonna be annoying. <laughs> like, chapter 534. <laughs> uh, today, Mino, Mino, part one. Today, Mino's going to take me sightseeing. It's like, oh, it was just, whoop, over with. Bye. That was a new chapter. Today, Mino's going to take me sightseeing. We had, haven't gotten very far from home before he turns to me and asks, We're going to meet a friend of mine. Is that okay? And just am I supposed, how am I supposed to say no to that? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, who is it? You'll see. Okay, what's with these guys and their love for mysteries? We keep walking and Mino talks about different places that we pass on the way. It's really nice just listening to him and I get to know so many new fun things. But then something happens that, sorry, made me feel like I couldn't care less about whatever Mina was saying. I saw someone. Who? It's freaking Killian. I swear that it's not just a lookalike. That's actually him. Super Junior member. Uh, I just wanted to run up to him and give him a hug. But then I remember the fact that just because Shiny knows me doesn't mean that he does too. Brain, hello. What should I do? I can't really ask Mino, like, hey, can we go over there? I want his autograph. Chapter uh, 12, part uh, 2. Because apparently that needed to be a different chapter. I guess it made sense on the page where I was posting it, you know, to give them a piece now and then. I close my eyes and try to forget that I even saw him. I know, but really, what could I do? Mino sees that I'm standing with my eyes shut and asks if there's something wrong. I quickly open my eyes and tell him not to worry. He says, Okay, let's go. My friend said he'd meet us over here. He then puts his arm around my back as to support me if, I'm really, if I really weren't feeling okay. Right now, I feel miserable. Both because of Kyoyan missing the chance to meet him, and for Mina's sake not being able to focus on him. I don't even care where we're going anymore. I just walk and let Mina lead me with his arm still around my back. He stops and says hello to the person that, I'm guessing, is the friend that we're meeting. I can't just stand here and do nothing. I look up, but before I manage to say hello to Mina's friend, I find myself short of breath, short of heartbeats even. But not because I feel ill or sick, but because of Mina's friends. If you don't know who it is by now, I don't know who you are. It's Kyoyan. He was here because of us all this time. I really do get to meet him. He looks at me and says, Hey, uh, you're Joy, right? What? what? Me? Uh, um, um, yeah, yeah, that's me. He just laughs a bit and then turns back to Mino. Mino, uh, where did you plan to go? Up there, he says and points at the water. Oh, cool. Thanks for taking me with you, he says and bumps his shoulder into Mino as he smiles like bum 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 buddy bunny. I don't know. Uh, we got on some sort of tourist boat that goes back and forth between two places, so you just sit there and enjoy the surroundings. When we were on it, there was there were only us, the driver, and a couple in their 30s. But they wanted to be alone, so they sat in the back of the boat and we in the front. I've always liked 
looking at surroundings? <laughs> no, but like when you ride on a bus or in a car, listening to music and just looking at everything passing by, that, I really like that. So this boat ride was just amazing. Also, Kyoyan and Mina kept asking me things about Sweden and how I was living there. They were so sweet and looked so interested and excited while I answered all the questions. Sorry, just need to... After the boat ride that lasted for about an hour and 40 minutes, we started walking back home. I felt great walking between them, but I could feel my cheeks turning red when the people around us started looking. We kept walking, and after a while, I stopped caring about all the people around us. Mino and Kyoyan didn't seem to mind, so I felt I shouldn't either. But just as I start to relax, a man with a camera comes up to us, quickly takes some pictures, and then runs off again. I right away turn to Mino, giving him a worried look. He looks at me, puts his hand on my shoulder, and says, It's okay. Don't worry about that. Soon I can also feel Kyoyan's hand on my other shoulder. They're really so sweet, but what will happen to those pictures? <laughs> Chapter uh, 13. I should like know the sign language. I do, but I don't. <laughs> the next morning, the guys don't seem excited at all when I get downstairs. What's wrong? Is there anything wrong? I ask them. No, or... Well, not wrong, but... Maybe a bit difficult? We've gotten a lot of phone calls this morning, Yoyan says, as he gets off the chair. Uh, okay, from whom? Why is that something to be upset about? Um, newspapers, magazines, reporters, and our managers, Ki then says. They don't look mad, but worried. Yet not for themselves. It seems as if they're worried about me. What did they want? Um... You know that guy yesterday with the camera? Yeah, he works for one of the magazines and he gave them the pictures. What? And also, our manager called and he really wanted to know who this random girl was. Wait, magazine? That like, all Korea reads? I haven't even told my family or my best friend what I'm doing here right now. But now all of Korea knows? Well, not really, Keys tried to calm me down. They don't have your name. Since they don't know who you are or where you're from, all they have are the pictures. Yeah, we didn't even tell our manager, Ona calls out from the inside of the kitchen. You didn't? No, we felt it would be better if you got to decide about telling people who you are. You know, when or even if you want to do so. What do you do, really? And what should I ever say to them? Hey, my name is Joy, I'm from Sweden, and I'm here dating Shiny! Not smart. 